Hey guys, it's me, Wilson, and we're back with another video on F1 2021, as you can see on the screen in front of you. Um, we're going to be doing a video today on how do you start to make a setup on F1. I've seen a lot of people um, asking in my uh, Twitch chats, um, a few Twitter questions as well, they're probably less, but mainly Twitch. Um, how do you make setups? Do you use time trial ones? Um, do you just do time trial, quality, multiplayer Grand Prix? I get quite a lot of this. So um, I'm going to go through a few things. I'm not going to number anything. I'm just going to kind of go into it. It's going to be a little unorganized. So um, I'm sorry if that's a bit uh, hard to follow, but we're just going to try and keep it as simple as possible. Um, I've not been in the game all day, so uh, I guess this is the truest representation you can get of starting uh, practice for a league race. Um we're going to pick a track. I haven't planned this out at all. So um, what track should we do? So we're going to do Britain. Um, this is in Grand Prix, obviously. That is the first thing I definitely recommend is using Grand Prix to your advantage. Um, it's not as good as multiplayer, but not all the time. You're going to have friends around, so Grand Prix has to be done. Um, obviously, you pick the Merc, Lewis Hamlin, or Valtteri Bottas, um, but I just picked Lewis Hamlin. And um, obviously, pick what assists you want and set this to exactly how you want it to be um for like how it is in your uh, in your league races uh usually i do corner cutting strict uh corner cutting only in the rules and flags and this is key so you can turn around once you finish your lap and go back to the pits some people don't do it some people just return to garage but in multiplayer definitely do that corner cutting only because this is very helpful um to getting quick runs in and getting your setup um dialed in but uh nevertheless i won't talk about these too much and let's uh go to the session so, once you're in the session, um, obviously we're taking this off the basis you have no baselines at all, no time trial setup, nothing. You've just went into the session um, with nothing. Obviously, I can load a Britain setup I have. I can't really remember this setup, so um, I'm not going to click on it, nor do um, I want to because I think it would just ruin the video. But um, these first sessions, you just got to take your time and um, as Jeff interrupts us. But yeah. Once you're here, um, you've just got to start playing about. Obviously, the first actual setup you make is not going to be close to good at all. I mean, maybe it is. Maybe you'll get struck by a chance. But um, if you're new to setups, we'll just go through the basics. So let's say, I don't know, wings. Let's right uh, start at 7-7. Seven, seven. Um, that's a good balance, I think. Uh, you've got to think there's a lot of high speed, a lot of straights. If it was Monaco, for example, you'd instantly start with 10-11 maybe lowest 910 absolutely lowest and um, but as i said common sense is going to come into this um go to the transmission again if you're used to setups uh, a lot is just 100 on throttle and then off throttle it's usually between them um, not that high it's usually between i don't know 56 54 maybe it's, it's a bit fluctuating so so we'll put it at 55 for now and then um, Right, left, left, left is what everyone uses. Again, no secret to anyone. Um, so again, it's just all about starting with the basics, just putting the main things in. So then, um, this is the suspension I have made. 161637. Again, it might not be perfect, but it's just a baseline. Um, and you need to start off with something uh, that you can work with. Brakes, again, everyone knows this. 150, just the usual now. Um, you can use 51 if you're struggling a bit. 50% uh, brake bias is pre-patch 56. So um, you can still lock the rear. So if you're struggling, put it to 51. And then um, tires, these can be utilized very, very well. Uh, if you go very low in the tires, you're gonna have a lot of like mechanical grip. Uh, around slow speed corners, you're gonna really find uh, it nice. Uh, but then in max tire pressures, it's gonna be a bit slidey and um, a bit more loose. So uh, again, just try and find your balance. Uh, a lot. This is usually what you see, uh, stuff like this. Um, so we'll just go with this. Again, 77, 155, a pretty simple, oh, well that's meant to be left. Uh, but yeah, pretty simple setup. So we're gonna go out. I usually do flying laps. You can drive out, but I recommend just flying laps, get back in the yards, just to get things done quick. And uh, yeah, let's go. Again, so first lap of the day for me on F1. So this is going to be uh, interesting. I can't remember what times we're meant to be doing at Brent, so um, hopefully I don't embarrass myself too much. So these first few laps, you're just going to go out finding confidence and uh, 
in general, just finding where the limit is, seeing how your setup is, breaking points if you don't know them already. As you can see, there's already, if you're uh, looking closely, as we uh, cut that, it's a bit of a lazy mistake, but um, there's already, it looks like there's a bit of understeer in this setup. Yeah, and you can see, you're going around these corners and it's waiting to bite, and um, you can see this visibly, I'm sure if you're driving you would notice it as well. So you're already trying to dial stuff into your head, what did I change? Through cops it was quite nice, uh, but that's because there's so much understeer, it's such a easy uh, flat corner. Might get some Beckett's now, that would probably be invalid. Again, that was quite nice, so you know where this setup is good, um, at 2.7 but I don't think that that's anything exceptional to be honest with you, um, but you can see through the high speed it's a bit more comfortable than the low speed so you've kind of got to um, take that into consideration, you can see again through this low speed sector it's very lazy and um, it's a bit over the, all over the place, so a 26 to so, back in the garage, what can we change? As we said, it felt quite nice and high speed, and these were the things you need to be running through your head when um, driving. Where does it feel good? Where does it feel bad? Felt pretty lazy and slow speed. So, um, usually I'd go out again and uh, do another lap. Um, that's why I do recommend do two laps before you start changing things. But this early on, the setup's very basic. So, what can you do to change that? You can put the rear suspension up, uh, the rear anti roll bar. Um, again, you can put the tyre pressures down a little bit. Um, all throttle, you can put that down, but that will make it very unstable. You have to keep that in mind. So, what will we change? Do a simple, small change, and uh, why don't we just put the rear anti roll bar up by one? So, again, very simple, small changes. We'll see how that goes. Right, well, let's see if this setup change has improved the low speed grip. Is it going to be so oversteer? These are things you need to be thinking about starting your lap. You've also got to be very mindful that you have changed it, so it might be a bit too oversteer. Again, not too bad. Um, currently, I'm looking at that thinking that these are a bit more front end. The rear end is going, but the front end isn't going with it. Field there, the rear end is a lot more compliant, it's doing what I want it to do. These high speed corners might be a bit more tricky because we've made a bit more oversteer, but we've gained time, so uh, not as tricky as we thought. Let's see what Ma Maggots and Beckett's feels like. On the power early, and uh, pretty nice, wasn't too bad. You could feel it being a little bit nervous, but uh, nothing too bad. Next up is Stoa, pretty sure it is. Definitely feel it's a lot more oversteer than last time. Out of the final corner, what is it going to be? It's a 26 0, so not too bad. Um, looking at that lap, the car felt quite nice. Uh, there was a bit of front end lacking there. But um, overall, I'd say we've done two runs. Um, so I paused the game because time is very limited in this session. But uh, so far we've done two runs on this setup and it's already, it, it's pretty much there. I mean, we've done a 26 0, nothing, it's, we're probably at about half a second off the pace. But, um, but that's to top standards. I mean, we've done our first two laps of the game on a setup we've made in under five minutes. Um, and we've still got a run to go. So what we'll do is, or what I usually do, is at this point, um, after my first two runs on the track, I won't change the setup. I'll still just use it, see, try and learn a little bit more about it. You never know. That lap before might have been just a scuffed one. It might have just been uh, a coincidence why the front end wasn't turned in. Sometimes that can happen. So what we're going to do on this lap, as you can see, we're pretty time limited. So we're going to try and go out quick. 
don't know if we'll be able to get a lap. I'm going to try and drive out. Yeah, if we can, we'll just um, skip to the end of the next session. So, um, I found out we didn't have enough time to go out. So, uh, <laughs> we've had to restart the lobby. Uh, setup is the same, just so you uh, don't not believe me. Uh, apart from the break bias was 55. Uh, that's pre-patch. <laughs> um, but yeah, so now we need time pretty perfectly to get out and the AI don't affect us. That looks about right. You may have AI affect you. I do recommend um, once you've started to get the setup dialed in that you do drive out. Uh, but this is just the, the cons of using Grand Prix mode. Hopefully F1 add it in so you can practice on your own soon. But um, as you can see in the mini map, or you can't see it because of the webcam, uh, I'm just letting these two cars by. But um, yeah, already I still feel the setup has got a bit of understeer in it. Obviously, we haven't changed it, but we're just going to adapt to that understeer and see how it goes. Um, we don't have a delta, so it's going to be hard to reference. Good turn one. Bit of oversteer and exiting. When you have things like that, that's because there's so much understeer in the rear end that you're trying to use the throttle to turn the car, and that's when you get things like that. Okay, and that was all right. We could have used a bit more uh, power steer, or throttle steering, but uh, not bad. Through cops now. This is flat. And uh, the setup isn't feeling too bad, to be honest with you. It's a bit understeery, but it's not feeling the worst. Through my just Beckett's now. And yeah, the car's very nice through high speed. And it's a 2 4 sector split, so looking very nice so far. Let's see what we can do. Go through here. line what can we do it's a 25 7 so a pretty solid lap for um making a baseline and um, there's a lot of time in that setup it doesn't feel uh, anything exceptional by any means but um yeah it feels pretty solid uh done a point to seven lap again sometimes grand prix is quicker than um multiplayer but overall, there's definitely places that setup can be improved. It's a bit understeery uh, through the slow speed, so I would definitely add a bit of oversteer into it. But we're actually going to go on to that and um, look at the setup in the race. Uh, sector 2 was good, I think. I'm not, can't really remember the sectors we're meant to be doing here, but I don't think they're all miles off. Apart from the first, I think is pretty poor. But again, I think that's down to the setup being pretty oversteery. Um, but yeah, let's go into the race and look at the setup. Yeah, it does. So we're P1, obviously, because we got pole. Uh, and this is a good place. Just to look at your setup. Uh, save it if you need to, or if you haven't already. And then uh, just go through it. Um, again, 7-7. Seven, seven, pretty basic setup. But it's, there's not really much you can change in this setup. I, I do definitely think this game's a lot more of the driver than the setup. Um, I don't know if you people would agree, or at least um, a few of you. But, again... Pretty decent setup. Um, if you're new to racing, you've got a league around Britain. I mean, feel free to use this because we've made it in how, three three runs, which was, I mean, it took like ten minutes, but a lot of it was because of me talking. Um, but yeah, one one Grand Prix session, uh, and our first session on, and we've done a twenty five seven. And again, nothing exceptional. I think we should probably be taking maybe a few tenths off that. Um, but a 25-7 is far from bad. So we'll take that. Again, use a setup if you want. I think what you could maybe do is add a bit more... Uh, what's the word? Uh, I, can't, I can't find the word. Uh, suspension onto it. Make it a bit more uh, stiff. Um, I think the session where we didn't have enough time, we were actually running 1-7. And then we went back to 1-6 for the final run. So, uh, and I, that just proves, that's just proving my point that maybe sometimes you need to do more runs in the setup you used and uh, see how it goes. But yeah, this setup felt pretty, pretty planted uh, for just making it that quick. But yeah, that's all the driving I'm going to do. 
for this video. I'm just going to quickly go back over it. What you could change, as I said, it was oversteery or understeery. Um, I would definitely maybe recommend putting the roll bar up. Uh, roll bar, suspension, these, if you put these up, the rear bit, um, you're going to add more oversteer to the car, which is essentially meaning you have to turn less for the car to turn. Uh, and if if you put this to 1-1, one, one, if you put these all to 1-1, one, one, uh, I don't think it'd be drivable somehow. Uh, you would turn and the car just wouldn't comply with you. Uh, I wouldn't change any of these uh, until you're really comfortable with yourself. These are more fine-tuning, which can gain a couple of hundreds, maybe a tenth, tenth and a half at absolute maximum. Um, but that's pretty unknown uh, for it. These probably gain a tenth max. Um, sorry, <laughs> these probably get a tenth at max um, when you found the perfect one. But yeah, these are for the last part of your setup. Uh, so that's the final stages. Uh, arrows, these should be completed pretty early on. Um, try different things. Try 6-6, six, six, try 8-8 eight, eight even. Um, but we just tried 7-7 seven, because seven of the sake of it. Um, all sort of these usually stay the same. Again, pretty basic. Try 56. This will give you a bit more stability at high speed. Maybe a bit of understeer at low speed. And uh, vice versa as well. Um, but yeah, we went over that right height. There's not really much you can do. Uh, there's not much differences right height. Not much time to find. So just play about with it. But don't spend too much time on it. Your suspension here and your geometry. These are the two main things you uh, need to be focusing on. And uh, again, with tyre pressure, there's not too much to change. Um, but again, just play about with it. Um, as I said, lower tyre pressure is more low speed grip. And uh, the opposite, uh, it's a bit more slidey when you put them to the max at high speed. Um, and these, obviously, this is probably the most simple part of the setup. This stays the exact same. If you're feeling a bit of rear locking, especially in the race, put this to 51 or even 52 uh, to save tyres or just not spin in general. But uh, yeah, that was pretty, uh, I'd say it's a pretty productive session we've done. Um, we got a setup pretty, pretty quick. Uh, this is a pretty solid setup. If you want to use this, feel free. I'd say it's pretty good. Maybe add a bit of oversteer, or maybe if it's perfect for you, just keep it the same. And uh, yeah, I definitely recommend it if you're new to the game and you can't handle oversteer. It's a pretty solid setup. So uh, obviously this isn't a setup. Uh, <laughs> this is. Uh, one six, one six. Oh, jeez. We're all, we're all over the place. This is the setup. Uh, so use that if you want. And um, yeah, pretty good setup. Again, I don't think I've missed anything. Um, again, let's say you do maybe add a bit more oversteer and it's too oversteer. You can even put the front wing down to dial out at too much front end and it might balance out a bit. So it's all about trying to uh, configure everything to set up. Obviously, you could probably get away with 1.7 wing if you ran 111, 111 because it's the most oversteer you can run and 1.7 would count it out because you're not getting a lot of front end but you've got so much rear end that it counters out and... Uh, that's pretty basic for a lot of people who are at the top of league race and are top of esports. But uh, for people who are new, which you might be, you watching this video, um, it's not so known to the brain. So uh, take that in mind. Again, I wouldn't really recommend going below 54 uh, off diff. Um, maybe you could, but I wouldn't recommend it unless you're really, really dialed into the game and you really know how to drive the car and you're really confident. But I'd say stay about 55 to 57 uh, if you're new to the game, and uh, that'll be pretty easy. I'd say set at 56 for most of it. And uh, yeah, this is a pretty solid setup. As I said, just stick with it. But um, hopefully you guys have liked the video. I tried to be as clear but um, informative as I could. Uh, it was a bit all over the place. I understand that is pretty hard to make this as, uh, uh, how do I say it, like structured because obviously making a setup is a bit all over the place. We did make one very quick in one session, which I'm pretty impressed with myself. My first session on, I've drove for about 20 minutes today and uh, on this session. So uh, pretty good. We don't have 25-7 with it. Uh, if you can beat uh, that time, let me know, and uh, I'll be pretty impressed. Uh, I can't wait for John Evans now to be messaging me that he beat my time in the setup. But if you guys have enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Uh, any constructive criticism in the comments is appreciated. And I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. And subscribe if you haven't, because a lot of you haven't. And I'll see you guys in the next one.